factors. Rohan has a chocolate bar with 12 pieces. He gives two pieces each to six of his friends and hence the chocolate is divided equally without any remaining piece. In the same way, factor of a given number is the number that divides the given number exactly without leaving any remainder. If a number does not divide the given number completely, it is not a factor of that number. Let us see an example. We take the number 12. 3 is a factor of 12 because 3 divides 12 exactly 4 times and does not leave any remainder. 12 also has more factors other than 3. These factors are 1, 2, 4, 6 and 12. So the number 12 has 6 factors, namely 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. In the same way, if we take the number 21, it has 4 factors, namely 1, 3, 7 and 21. But if we divide the number 21 by 4, we get the remainder 1. And so, 4 cannot be a factor of 21. Some important facts about factors. Now, we will learn some properties of factors. 1 is the factor of every number. For example, if we take any number like 5, 7, 22, 45 or 200, each number has 1 as a factor because each number is exactly divisible by 1. The second property of factors tells that every number is a factor of itself because every number is exactly divisible by itself. For example, 10 is a factor of of itself. We must also know that every factor is less than or equal to the given number. Consider the number 18. The factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. Clearly, no factor is greater than 18. The factors of a given number are limited and they can be counted. No number can have infinite number of factors. Let us find the factors of 28. For this, we will first write it as a product of two numbers. 1 into 28 2 into 14, 4 into 7. Thus, the factors of 28 are 1, 2, 4, 7, 14 and 28. Multiples Jatin is in his backyard where his father has kept some cartons of mangoes. In each carton, there are seven mangoes. He placed cartons in the rows of one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Let us now see how many mangoes are there in each row. The second row has seven into 2 equal to 14 mangoes. Likewise, third row has 7 into 3 is equal to 21 mangoes. Fourth row has 7 into 4 
is equal to 28 mangoes and fifth row has 7 into 5 is equal to 35 mangoes and so on. The multiple of a non-zero number is the product of the number and a natural number. So, the multiples of 7 are 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, etc. Remember, multiples of a number are infinite and each multiple is greater than or equal to the number. Also, each number is a multiple of itself. Common Factors When we factorize two numbers, we may find some factors common for both the numbers. These factors are called common factors for both the numbers. Let us compare the factors of 10 and 15. The factors of 10 are 1, 2, 5 and 10. The factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5 and 15. The numbers 1 and 5 are common factors of both 10 and 15. Remember, common factors of any two numbers are limited. Common multiples Two numbers can have some common multiples. These multiples are called common multiples for both the numbers. Just like factors, we can also compare the multiples of two numbers. Now, let us compare the multiples of 10 and 15. The multiples of 10 are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and so on. The multiples of 15 are 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105, and so on. On comparing, we see that there are some multiples which are common for both 10 and 15. The numbers 30, 60, 90, etc. are multiples of both 10 and 15. Therefore, they are the common multiples of 10 and 15. Common multiples are infinite. Prime factorization When we express or break down a number as a product of prime numbers, it is called prime factorization. We write the prime factors of the number 18 as 18 is equal to 2 into 3 into 3. Here, 2 into 3 into 3 is the prime factorization of 18 and 2 and 3 are prime factors. We can also write the prime factorization of other numbers like 48 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. 30 is equal to 2 into 3 into 5. It is important to know that 1 is not considered in prime factorization.